Hey guys, what you just saw was the intro for the television show, Making a Difference. Making a Difference is the television show based here at Kingdom in the Valley Christian Church in Phoenix, Arizona. I am very privileged to be the editor of the show and put together the sermons as they air on AZ Channel 7 and of course YouTube. One issue that we have here that a lot of other editors in the ministries around the world have is that pastors tend to talk really softly and then explode and speak very loudly while they're giving their sermons. A lot of times, television stations and consumers of the word always have the same issue, that the levels in the audio are going high and they're really, really low. So, I've got a solution. I'm going to be working in Final Cut 10, but the information that I give you in this video can be used for any non-linear editing program, from DaVinci Resolve to Final Cut 7 to Adobe Premiere to Avid. Who knows, whatever you're using, you should be able to use this information to make a better sounding sermon from now on and not having to have people ride the levels when your sermon is broadcast on television or when your consumers are listening to it through mediums like YouTube. I hope this isn't too fast, but if you're like me, you're at work in the middle of a busy work day and you need a lot of information quickly. So we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Feel free to pause at any moment, and I hope this is a big blessing and a help to you. If this video is, please share, like, and subscribe. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. The first thing that you're going to need to do is download a program called Audacity. Right now I'm at autumnmagazine.com, which is a great faith-based magazine. Feel free to visit their page and subscribe for a free copy. All right, once at audacity.com, download the sound program. It is a free program to download, and once downloaded, you will be able to use it immediately. Once you have Audacity downloaded, you should see this welcome screen. Now we can put Audacity in the background for the meantime. If you'll notice on my timeline here in Final Cut Pro, I have the newest sermon that I'm getting ready to edit. It's called Jehovah El Shaddai. Our waveforms indicate that some things are way too hot. It's getting ready to manifest in the name of Jesus. And some things are much, much lower. So, for delivery to the television station, the sweet spot is right here around negative 20 dB. So to best normalize our audio, what we're going to first need to do is export only the audio from this clip. Now this step is different depending on whether you're using Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Avid, or any other non-linear editing system. In your settings window, based on your editing platform, you will be given a plethora of options as to what type of sound you want delivered. I recommend always using WAV, as it is usually the highest quality sound that you can obtain from your video file. Next, you'll need to save your audio somewhere convenient that you can find easily, like the desktop. Once your export is done, open up the program Audacity. Inside of Audacity, go to File, Import, and find your audio clip. We saved ours to our desktop, and there it is, the Jehovah El Shaddai audio.wave. Hit Open. Always make a copy just in case you destroy the original version. We'll fast forward through this. When complete, you will see a waveform of your audio file. As you can see, we 
we have very high highs. No favor is coming. If you know blessing is coming, if you know God will do it. And we have very low lows. I didn't see fights break out, people arguing, and I'm like, I can't have you in that environment. But nevertheless, I said, I'm about to. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is put a compressor on our audio. Do not highlight anything. If you do, click any one of the timeline to unselect it. To add the compressor, let's go first to the effects tab and then hit compressor. Inside compressor, make sure your threshold is at negative 60 dB, that your noise floor is at negative 40 dB, that your ratio is at 10 to 1. Your attack time should be 0 0.20 second or 0 0.2, depending on the version of Audacity you're using, it may look different. And your release time should be one second. Make sure that make up gain for 0 dB is checked and don't check compress based on peaks then hit OK. We'll fast forward through this. Once your compression is over, you should be able to make an instant observation of how your audio levels are all around the same peak. But we still need to get everything down to an acceptable decibel. For us, that's negative 20 dB for broadcast quality. So the next step is going to be go back to your effects tab and go to normalize. In normalize, you should probably see 0 dB your first time. But for us, we're going to go to negative 20 dB. Point zero. Hit OK. We will fast forward through this. Once normalization is over, again, you should instantly see a difference in your wave format. Set time is coming. Listen. I've been doing this series for three weeks now called... So your final step in Audacity is going to be to export your new audio. To do that, go to File, Export Audio. Now we started with the WAV file, so we should make it a WAV again. However, feel free to choose any file format you desire. We'll save it again to the same place and rename it Audacity. Audacity gives you the option to thoroughly name your content. We'll fast forward through this. Once your export is done, feel free to close out Audacity. Return to your editing platform and drag in your new audio. Next, you will want to test for sync. 
So first we will turn off our Audacity audio. If you notice, we are peaking. Now let's try the same clip, same area with Audacity. And we're exactly where we want to be, at negative 20 dB, and should be throughout the entire video. So the low points have been brought up, and the high points have been brought down. And then you can edit without having to worry about audio issues. Another step that you should do is to combine your new audio with your video clip so it can work as one clip together.